So finally the engine is out on this nationwide truck and uh, as you remember I showed the damage of this engine and it had a connecting rod damage. I mean the engine has damage on the connecting rods but that doesn't mean that the engine uh, is bad completely because the main caps are good so that for that I'm going to show you I'm going to get a 1516 because we're going to rotate the alternator to rotate the engine hold on a second so this is a 1516 with a 3A ratchet long extension long type of ratchet so here uh, you, you saw my videos in the past showing you then you can use the alternator which is this one to rotate the engine if the engine doesn't rotate with the alternator that means that your engine is done there is a problem so see let's put the alternator and see it rotates see see there is the the uh, connecting rods you you hear that noise on there is because the connecting rods are loose we took the two bolts of the connecting rods here i have an example so you can see so because we have a damaged connecting rod then the and the connecting rod spoon over is completely frozen welded with the crankshaft so we have to remove these two bolts get them loose a little get this one open so the crankshaft can rotate over the connecting rod and that's the reason why it makes a noise otherwise the engine will be stuck and we do that because we have to remove other components and things like that so now we can just take the engine apart because the engine rotates now and that gives you uh, that give us the um, the complete uh, satisfaction to know that the crankshaft is not completely frozen when uh, where the where the main bearing caps are so that means then we can reuse the block just install a new crankshaft and that will be the whole job will be doing to this uh, engine and there is other engine like that one over there this one we just replace the crankshaft on this one too and um in, in the case of this one you suffer a damage on the main caps and the connecting rods as well so connecting rods and main caps so when, when i talk about main caps that means then we have to take the engine block to a machine shop so they can actually fix the main caps so we can reuse a crankshaft uh, in this case we install a new crankshaft on this one but uh, if you have a main bearing problem if the main bearing spoons and uh, the, cran uh, the crankshaft is not able to rotate still you have to replace all the connecting rods so this one is pretty much almost all new on this engine almost not everything so on that one because we only have the crankshaft damage on the connecting rods we are going to replace the six connecting rods the crankshaft and the overhaul kit which is going to be pistons liners um, and uh, piston rings main bearings rod bearings the rest of the components head and all that can be reused if we want or we can send it to a machine shop or get a new from the dealer depending on what we want depending on what nationwide um, they want to do with the truck because they are the ones that uh, are deciding what type of repairs they want to do to the truck and just giving them the options that we have the same things I'm, I'm telling you the same things I'm telling to them so they can understand what type of uh, repairs are going to be done to the truck to the engine in this case is it good because we save so much money by knowing that the crankshaft is not completely damaged but still doesn't mean that it's going to be a cheap repair it depends I like, right now so far on parts i would say then it was it is like around like probably like ten thousand dollars in parts so far but we haven't even installed anything we just start getting the parts because it is hard to get parts right now 2021 is a really really hard time to get parts and um, you have to improvise on how to get the parts so you can get them all together now uh, i want to keep on doing some videos on uh, doing uh, putting all this together probably i can do another video another video taking apart the engine completely and explaining why you have to remove that and why you have to remove it. if i have time 
I'll do it. I did a video on how to remove the engine too, so uh, and, and you guys can see how it's like to remove the engine completely, a timeless video, but right now you're gonna probably see some little uh, videos here and there, but anyway, uh, uh, so this is pretty much what we have right now with this engine and uh, hopefully we are going to be able to uh, finish it completely, do the whole process of overhaul and uh, show you more details about it and you can understand more about these machines. DD15 engines are not that uh, complicated once you know them and uh, there are not much difference. Most DD15 engines are pretty much the same since 2008, 2020, 21. It is minor difference, we can say, on timing and uh, and little components that they have that are different. But overall, the engine block and engine itself is kind of the same. It varies just a tiny bit. It's not going to be a big, big difference. Then it's going to have. Then you are going to see a totally different engine. It is pretty much the same engine. But uh, here is just a little update we have right now. And uh, you wanna see this engine completely removed from the truck. Uh, I have a little video, you wanna see probably their time-lapse video on how this engine was removed completely from the truck. Uh, so you can get, get, get the idea on how it's like to remove um, a DD15 engine, which is not that easy, but uh, you know, it requires a lot of knowledge to do it. And eventually everybody gets that if you keep on trying and practicing the labor that you're doing. So uh, if you have any questions, you can use the comment section below. And uh, don't worry, there will be more videos about this. So eventually you're gonna see more videos about these engines since uh, the major problem with Cascadia's and DD15 is it is just how to warn the engines. And that's what I'm trying to do, helping you on how to warn the engine. But uh, comment, comment below is important because I can understand little things than probably you want me to show and I haven't shown, so that's the reason why I, I think the comments are very important, so you can do that, but you also can use it to um, ask any other questions or you can ask any, I mean, you can give any type of answers. So, you know, we can understand more about these machines. You can wanna contact me directly, go to Instagram, look for me, Francisco Maya YouTube, check the description of the videos for details on how to send support to the channel, like, share, subscribe, and thank you for watching.